An update this morning to a story we brought you Monday. We now know who paid $350,000 for a hunting permit to kill an endangered black rhino in Namibia. The American man is breaking his silence and battling a firestorm of anger. Barry Peterson learned why the hunter believes his actions are humane. How old were you when you started hunting? Oh, four or five years old, something like that. Corey Knowlton has hunted and killed scores of animals over the years. Now you got ruin. Much of it documented on reality television. Get over that ridge, we're gonna shoot this ram. But when it became public that Knowlton won the auction to hunt and kill a black rhino in Namibia, hatred and threats flooded his Facebook page. As nasty as you could possibly imagine. It's basically, I'm gonna come and kill you or meet me, I'll kill you. Um, I'm gonna burn your house. I'm gonna, you know, torture your children, things like of that nature. I didn't ex exactly expect that. Saturday's auction by the Dallas Safari Club was the first time a permit to kill a black rhino was sold in the U.S., though Namibia routinely grants permits within the country. Namibia has almost 2,000 of the roughly 5,000 endangered black rhinos in the world, and selling permits raises money to protect them. This permit is for one particular rhino. How does killing this black rhino help preserve the black rhino in Namibia? They've been ear tagged by a group of experts and scientific experts as killers. They're too old to breed. They're too old to breed. They're going around and looking for other animals to kill. That justification drew scorn from animal rights activists, including game show host Bob Barker. As an older male myself, he wrote, I must say that this seems like a rather harsh way of dealing with senior citizens. To understand saving the black rhino, Knowlton says, focus on how his $350,000 will help Namibia fight the single greatest threat by funding more soldiers to stop poachers who want the horns. You're talking about good guys with guns versus bad guys with guns. I know we're gonna respect it, we're gonna celebrate it, and I can tell you what's not gonna happen to it. It's meat wasn't laying down on the ground for carrion. Its horn wasn't illegally imported into China or Asia somewhere else. It was not churned into any kind of trinket. To Knowlton, the equation is simple. His money helps protect the rhinos. He gets the thrill of hunting a rogue animal, a fair trade, he says, for both man and beasts. For CBS This Morning, Barry Peterson, Dallas.